Hi everyone. Well, I finally decided to reborn Paisley. Um, so the first thing I like to do is put the first layer of um, skin tone. And the reason why I do skin tone first is because I read that if you do the first layer um, veining on vinyl, that um, the the blue that used for the vine the the blue that used for the veining will soak right in and there th once you put it on that's it you can't take it off so vinyl likes obviously likes the first layer and will soak it in and it's you, it's not you can't make a correction with it because the vinyl sucks it in and that's it so. I've learned the best thing to do is do your skin tone first. Your first is the skin tone, then the veining, because then you can do your correction with the veining. You can play with it. If you don't like it, you can take off the veining then. So, skin tone first. I use um, some odorless thinner. I got this from Bountiful Baby. Um, you can get this from a lot of different sites though. Um, but I use this and then I use Bonnieful Baby's number two baby skin tone for skin. Um, so use um, some thinner. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, yeah. Put some thinner in your palette. And then take your your skin tone, whatever you choose to do. Um, I'm going to get, and what I use to put my paint in the palette is cute uh, toothpicks. As soon as I can find them, um, toothpicks. I actually got this at Kmart. Isn't that cute? It's like a nice little toothpick holder, and it's got a little hole. You just grab one. So I use toothpicks to initially take out the paint. And it, again, I don't know if you've seen my other sites. It's been a while since I've reborn, so I'm just I'm just playing as I go along. Um trying to reestablish my painting techniques. So Put that in. You want a very thin layer, anyways. Um, very thin layer. Every layer is going to be a thin layer until you build up the skin tones that you like. Um, and you and you'll figure out the way you like your paints um, as you get your technique down. Um, I'll take my let's see do I want my mop brush. I'll go ahead and stir that in. Make sure that's very thin. You want a very thin consistency. I think that's good. And then you get a cosmetic sponge. And put that, make a dot on there. Here we go. Yay. So, um, grab your first piece. I'm going to go ahead and do her arms first. Maybe I did a little dab on the side just to kind of get some excess, some um, a little bit off. Let's see if you can see that. And just pounce, 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 because you want to get that like real skin effect on your baby. And um, actually, I've seen somebody use 
a brush like this to hold onto the end. I don't remember who. That's kind of a good idea, huh? Mine is a little wet because I don't have all my brushes yet, so I'm using this one. Can you see that? So you do the pounce, pounce, pounce effect. Might be a little too thin. I don't know. I'll just put my fingers in there and it's dead. Sorry if you're not seeing this, I have to keep looking to make sure you can see this. I'm really excited to, s to start reborning again and get Paisley looking like a little baby. It's really exciting. It's been a long time since the last time I did a doll. And I really don't, I don't know how many I've done. Um, I'd have to sit and think about how many babies I did and I don't have any of the babies anymore unfortunately I have pictures I've been thinking about adding the pictures to YouTube and at least show the little ones that I, I reborned make sure you know I'm gonna take my mop brush and just kind of make sure I get in there I've seen some people use their mop brush to also do some pouncing. And I'm just I'm gonna just play with everything until I decide where I'm comfortable again and what I liked doing. Um, try to get back into my own technique. So this is another way because you, you can get into tiny little crevices with the brushes. And you know, some people suggest you use gloves. I probably should be using gloves to do this. It's better than getting the chemicals on your skin because uh, allergic reactions or whatever kind of reaction that the paints and the chemicals could be causing on your skin. It's not good for you. So I think I got every tiny little crevice make sure and I don't know if I'm doing this right or not um, I will just have to figure that out on my own to see if I, it, I I don't think there's any right or wrong it's whatever you're comfortable with really and there's also you know there's cosmetic wedge you can be pouncing or you could do your mop brush or another way I've been thinking about doing this way also in another skin layer is the sea sponge let me get you one I still have a little package I got mine at uh, Michael's here's one sea sponge it came in a package of let's see one two three four Here's another size. Look at how the holes are. It kind of makes the, the modeling look. Um, this one. And there's one more. And this one. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go do a skin uh, a skin layer in in um, the sea sponge also so I'm gonna go over and do this one more time make sure I got the the porous look is what you're trying to go for in this so it looks like it's real baby human skin so 
I will continue to do that with the other hand, my other feet and my head and I'll get back to you as soon as I bake this and go to my next layer. Thank you for watching guys. See you next video. Bye.